Hello and welcome to a race from quite a while back, I'm being completely honest with you. Um, it was about seven months ago when we did this race, so please bear with us, we're trying to remember it as we go. I'm not alone though, we have someone with us tonight and this is the voice to the car we are following, it is John. Hello John. Hello, good to be on. Good to be on indeed, it's been too long hasn't it, I mean... This race, I've just found me uh, on my computer when I made the video it was from about seven months ago. So it's been a while. <laughs> it has. Long time. Um, so we're going to see if we can remember. And I do remember this. <laughs> I remember that part distinctly. What you've just witnessed, for anyone who did miss that, is myself absolutely destroying John. <laughs> it was... Um... It wasn't an ideal start, really, because I think, did you start P1, P2? P2, I think it was, P2, yeah. P2, and now you're in P11, courtesy of me. <laughs> but, well, it's, it's a recovery drive for both of us now. It's a recovery <laughs> drive for both of us, indeed. Um, I actually do remember doing that, and I couldn't stop laughing for a little bit. <laughs> and all I could think was, I don't care where I finish. I just want you to finish well because you deserved it until I came along. <laughs> oh. Where was you on the grid? Where, where did you go from? You know what? I can't remember. And it's been that long since we did a recording. I forgot to look. <laughs> so I don't know. But you've already caught up to one and made a move, so you're already in the points if it would be. Um, <laughs> so up into 10th after starting second. Good, good run. That's quite a big group ahead there. Yeah, um, yeah. So back to uh, <laughs> back to, to the race. Um, so it was seven laps at Red Bull, and we've known in the past you you do well here in the Subaru. What's the uh, secret, do you think? I think it's a, just a good car, car for the corners, and um, the top speed isn't as much of an issue. It's not a, uh, a tuning lobby, this is it. It's fixed, fixed setup, so yeah, it really does go well in. The BOP was on, so everyone was fairly balanced, but you still have like your cars with a faster top end. Like, so, so, for instance, myself, all the way down in lowly 11. Um, even with the BOP on, it was still a faster car. Uh, oh, jumping over to myself, actually, so something must be good on here. Um, it was a faster car, even with the BOP on, but uh, the, in, in the corners, it had it didn't have a, an, an answer to the Subaru, really. Um, but yeah, so it, uh, yeah, it was a good lobby, though, if I remember rightly. It looks like I'm going to actually go for a move on a Subaru, as I've just said, it's no good in the corners. <laughs> Turns out that guy was no good in the corners. But I'm now up in the, into the points, as it would be. Um, but you're flying, I mean, you're in eighth place after two laps. I mean, you should have been, obviously, much further up. <laughs> but two laps it took you to go from, was it 10th to 8th after that massive catch-up? So, unbelievable race so far for you. Yeah, it's a recovery for both of us, isn't it, I think? Yeah. The guys are battling up in front, so it's, it makes it easier to catch, doesn't it? It does, it, when they're battling, it really slows them down. You there again, you know, up into sixth now, you're just taking advantage of all the, the fighting that's going on. It's, um, you've got to be patient though. Even when they're fighting up ahead, you don't want to just go for an instant move when you, when you think there might be one. You've got to bide your time because if you go for a move that, it, okay, there's a move to be made, but if they're fighting, that move that you're going to make could end up with you in the crossers. Sometimes it's not worth it. Yeah, you don't want to end up losing a lot of time yourself in the in the battles. You want everybody else to slow each other down. Yeah, yeah. Around the outside on a very tight corner. I honestly thought you were going to get past him there, but it looks like you might get the cut back here. Oh, he's held on there, hasn't he? Only just. Oh! <laughs> what was that? A pixel over the white line? I think it was a bit more than a pixel uh, <laughs> the, uh, the penalty system sometimes can be your friend and sometimes can be your enemy, can't it? <laughs> yeah, I think 
there's a few guys up the road with penalties as well, so that could come into play later on in the race. Yeah, tell him, me, that guy have a two and a half second penalty. My word. Lovely corner there. That is a hard corner to make as well. That, uh, it's technically turn three, isn't it? Technically. But I think, so. I think everyone would say turn two. But that herping is not the easiest. Okay, jumping back to myself, so I'm, I'm assuming something was on. Otherwise, I'd have left the camera where the action was. So this is the guy you were just trying to get past. So I've made my way up to him. I think I'm going to have the legs on him. Park it on the apex if I can. No, a bit wide, but he's not going to come back up into seventh for myself. I'll take that. Recovery nice driving. Longer well, race this as well. We normally only do um, normally five laps, isn't it? The lobbies we were normally in, but this was a, a longer race, seven laps. It's a good job, really, because at the end of that first <laughs> lap, we were way down the field. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about, obviously, I mean... <laughs> but if it was five laps, you are you well, we'd be on the last lap now, and you're up into fourth place. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Like, we talked about the difference in, in speed. Your Subaru, for, for the most part, not so much on this track, it's not a top-end speed track, but for the most part, when it comes to top-end speed, it does suffer. It just doesn't seem to be... You just don't seem to suffer on this track, though. It's like the perfect combination for your car. That's right, yeah. I mean, whenever we go to Monza, it's, it's much, much more apparent the, the difference in speed. Yeah, the Mustang liked Monza. I admit, I'll admit that. It's one of my favourite tracks for the Mustang in particular. Um, I always seem to struggle here. And I think, for me, this, this race was a bit of a... Uh, a bit of an odd one for me, not because uh, of what happened. That's not odd. I've done that a few times to you. <laughs> um, but odd in the respects that I've actually managed to make a bit of a comeback. Normally, if I end up falling down the pack at this track, I do kind of stay there. There's never much of a fight back. But I found going for a move. Oh, I'll tell you what, I didn't. I forgot he ghosted through me. That would have been a nice move, that if that had stuck. <laughs> yeah, it's been really good, really good. I think that's it. Though sometimes you think you've got moved on, and then somebody just appears in front of you. Yeah. yeah. To see how the ghost in. Oh. oh, I think about broke myself. Yep, about broke myself. <laughs> I didn't want to concede that, did I? A bit naughty. No penalty that's though, so I'll take it. <laughs> Round the hurting once again. I mean, you've got a good gap. I mean, I'm up into fifth now, which. For me, making that kind of recovery is one in a lifetime. You're up into four. Big gap between me and you. And you're fighting here for third. You're on the podium, practically. Amazing drive, really is. And the guy in second's only just ahead. I think it was all, yeah, they're all there, aren't they? First to four. Like, all to go. All to play. Play. And he's got a big penalty as well, hasn't he? I mean, look at that. 7.2 seconds. That's ridiculous. I mean, at that point, place, at that point, there's no point in holding someone up. In fact, I think that's why you're flashing. <laughs> Get out the way. <laughs> that's it. Seven seconds worth of penalty. There's no point in. I mean, I don't. Yeah, don't quit out. But in the same respect, you shouldn't hold somebody up. And he's all over the place. That penalty is going to go. It does go up. Eight point seven seconds. I mean. What was you thinking, John? Was you thinking if you went for a move, he was just going to try and kill you? Or what was you thinking? I was thinking that I needed to get past this guy because I can see first and second there. That's it, isn't it? I mean, technically, he's going to finish well below third place if he doesn't get rid of that penalty. But he's holding you up from actually making a play for first and second. It's not, it's not right, is it? If, for me, in a game like this, I know ghosting was supposed to be turned off, but we have seen a couple of cars ghosted. When someone's got a penalty that big, it should just ghost them automatically, in my opinion, you know. If you've got a half second or even a one second penalty, that's one thing. Almost 10 seconds worth of penalties, like eight second penalty. 
it's ridiculous. And he's doing everything he can just to hold you up. Oh, but you've got him there. <laughs> elbows <laughs> out. Elbows out. Elbows out. And it looks like he might make a play on second here. Flip it, eh? Oh, he's not happy though, is he? He's uh, getting his elbows out as well. He's got his elbows and his feet. He's kicking on the way past. Come on, John. You've got him here. You're going to have him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Is he going to hold on? I think he is. Oh, man. I'll tell you I what. Made it. it was scrappy. Well, oh, wait a minute. You've got... <laughs> no way. Gave it up at the last, last oh, swing. Wow, that's mad. Mate, that's a recovery and a half, that is. <laughs> yeah, quite pleased with that. Wow. Quite pleased with that. Oh, flipping it. Well, thanks a lot, John. It's been great, as usual. And for anyone uh, watching, please give us a like and a, a comment. And uh, we'll see you all next time. <laughs>